Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Today, the folks over at Opal who make this camera, the Opal C1, they reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to check it out, sponsored a video? So I'm going to get them out of the box. I'm going to run through the software. I'm going to run through all the different things and let you know what to expect if you were to pick one of these up for your setup. My desk setup has been uh, growing over the past couple of years, and I have been looking for a nice looking webcam solution for one of my stations and the folks at Opal sent over this Opal C1. They sent me two, one in white and one in black. As you know, black, I'm quite fond of black, but I'm still excited about the white because that's gonna probably fit somewhere in my setup as well. First thing we gotta do is get them out of the box and check out everything that comes inside. It's, the packaging is very nice. This is, a, you know, kind of Apple-like packaging, very nice. So we gotta get them out of the box and check them out. One of the reasons I was super excited about this is there, I've been seeing videos about these, uh, sort of glowing videos, rave videos about these from everyone from MKBHD, Casey Neistat, Sarah Dietschy, Luke Miani, Aaron Zolo, all the people have been making videos and I've been kind of feeling like, you know, why aren't I making a video? I didn't know that there were actually awards for packaging, but there are awards for packaging and the Opal C1, in fact, won an award for its packaging and I can see why, it's very, very nice. The C1 was designed by Kenny Sweet, who was responsible for the first Beats by Dre, as well as the Pixel Watch, and several other things. Opal wasn't going for an untried, untested designer. The goal was to design something really very minimal. Uh, no big logos, no bright colors, no nothing like that. Something that is very functional, that will sit in your space and do its job, but also be very striking when you look at a little bit closer. Looking at the specs on the back, we have an f1.8 aperture, 78 degree field of view, up to 60 frames per second, USB-C, 12 megapixel sensor, which is really kind of the standard for smartphones and stuff like that now, or something larger that's binned down to 12 megapixels, 4K resolution, weighs 150 grams, and uh, it's 38 millimeters high, 78 millimeters wide, and 24 millimeters deep. So let's go ahead and get this guy out of the box. We'll start with the white. Has a nice little peel here. Throw that to the side. Here's the box itself. Nice raised embossed version of what's inside. So let's go ahead and slip it out. Oh man. So it has a little lens cap. This is, is tiny, but it like not in a bad way. This is tiny in a really good, in a really good way. Honestly, we've got some frosted plastic here. We'll peel that off. It still wants to stay stuck to itself. And this is more of a, you know, it's got a, a gray rubberized uh, foot here. And then this must be the microphone uh, array. And then, or maybe that's the microphone array. And then we have a magnetized lens cap, which is pretty darn cool. Like it's just, we have a quarter 20 adapter hole there, USB-C on the back and then these little ridges. This is nice. It's all metal construction up here. It look it looks kind of like a real camera, doesn't it? I mean, it is a real camera, but you know what I mean. So we got that, and then we pull this tab and get everything else out. We have the foot here, take the foot out. And of course this quarter 20 just sits on there, so you can just screw it right on. This would go easier if I had myself a little screwdriver, but I don't have one right now. Oh, the knife wants to kill me. The little stand here is, you know, you put it over the back of your monitor and it sits there like that. It can also close up and will sit flat. Has the sort of same gray color as this rubberized bit down here. Put that to the side. Oh, I didn't need to get my screwdriver because there's a screwdriver in here to, to attach and unattach the foot. That's awesome. And in here, we have what looks like maybe my officially favorite <laughs> USB-C cable ever. All right, this is, I gotta tell you, I'm an old man and um, coiled cables like they used to have, they used to use for playing guitar in the 70s. Coiled cables are, are a big favorite of mine. So I'm happy to see coiled cables back in the hunt. Check this out. You've got a cable that'll go you know, long end here and then a nice coiled bit here. If you need some extra, you can get it, but you're not gonna have huge amounts of cable sticking underneath your desk or all over your desk or wherever. I like this solution. Extra length, 
but not too long. That's not something I've seen before and I appreciate. I appreciate it. Quick start guide right here, which is all you really need and that's all that's in there. I need to get a new multi-tool. This one always wants to kill me. On the black one, you can see a little bit better. It has like a sputtered paint texture to it, which is very nice. Matte black, matte white, and very nice. Get out, rip that bad boy open. Again, rubberized along the bottom here. And so you can stand it up this way. They give you a little screwdriver to get this guy in there. So it can sit like that. You can get it at some different angles because there's a nice tension to this. So you can sit it like that and just go up and down. As you can see, this, this was a nice touch. There, Opal C1. So now let's get the software installed and let's go ahead and see what it looks like in action. <laughs> so just going through the composer software here, we've got a few different uh, a few different windows that we can put up here. We've got some controls down here. Oh, it does very nice. That's cool. It does uh, it does zebras. It even does histograms. Very nice. We've got some manual controls over here. Manual focus, lighting, temperature, not that blue. The exposure down a little bit. I don't like to be that bright. Many would say that I'm not that bright. So highlights, shadows. Contrast it also has auto color. Um, so, you, so you can load up your own backgrounds if you don't want people to be able to see you in your in your regular space. I would say that this is pretty cool. I, I yeah, I would say this is pretty cool. Very impressed. It's 10 you can do 1080p, 60 hertz. Now I'm on the Opal mic, and here's what it looks like, here's what it sounds like. I have to say, honestly, pretty impressed with what I'm seeing here. So this is the Opal C1. I'm using the Opal C1 microphone here. I'm actually using the camera as well. You adjust the colors here and there in post or use the app to get yourself going and you can really dial in the kind of picture whatever whatever kind of tone that you want uh, just looking at it right here very impressive all around what i was hoping for is an option to you know use my more expensive cameras in this kind of setting and then have other cameras that you know were smaller and easier to place in other positions around the house i do my music and podcasting recording in my desk over in the studio. So having something like this that I can just put on top of the of the monitor or put on a little tripod somewhere else in the room. And this is all a fraction of the price of much more expensive cameras and other sort of web solutions. Whether you're looking for a webcam that will sort of up your game in, uh, in online meetings or something like that, or you want a solution for streaming or other video content, that is just a little bit smaller, compact, but still super high quality without all the changing of everything and moving things around. The Opal C1 is really a very good solution. It amazes me how far webcams have come. I remember using the Logitech C920 for years, and for years that was the only thing out there. But over the past few years, things have been getting better and better and better, and now, the Opal C1 is probably at the top of my list. Check out the link in the description down below to get your own Opal C1 or find out more information. That's the link down in the description. You know where to find it. It's down there. Anyway, once again, my name is Jason. Sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech. So honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out. <laughs>